Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue my look at mobile applications for NAS. I want to face Synology Drive, their latest file management tool from Synology, up against QFile, the mobile application from QNAP. Now both of these applications are available for iOS and Android and you know Windows Mobile I guess. And uh, both of these applications are designed to help you uh, manage your files but they've both got a different remit in mind. QFile from QNAP is a long-standing app they've had for a long time that basically helps you browse all the files on your NAS. It doesn't really have a file management uh, backend built into it too much. You can look at photos and listen to music, but anything more intense than that, it will require you to use third-party apps based on your mobile phone. But it does let you browse folders and files, move, uh, duplicate, um, collect, uh, basically push all your files together, and there's lots of options in the background that let you download, upload, and more. Synology Drive, on the other hand, is Synology's attempt to make an app that can rival that of Google Drive and Dropbox. Because let's face it, as mentioned in my overview of both of these apps, the Synology Drive, um, the uh, Google Drive and Dropbox, one of the biggest appealing features about them is they are so damn user-friendly. When you want to upload a file, play back some music, download it, the user interface is painfully easy, especially Google Drive, thanks to all those um, Google applications in the form of sheets and docs and stuff like that and photos. Now, what Synology have done is they've released their own range of um, Office applications in the Synology Office Pack and their own photo management, video management and music management tools and try to include as many as possible in this one app, thereby trying to give you a one portal point of access to all of your data. And that means you won't have to flick between different apps and it gives you one access point to all of that information, something that Dropbox and Google already do in spades. So it's nice to see Synology trying to take on these cloud drives. Now, as you can see on the Synology screen, what we're doing here is we've been taking photos locally and uploading them live from within the app, something Q um, Photo already could do. Now, Q File, on the other hand, lets you upload files, but not in this photo taking capacity. They've left that for their individual photo app. What's happening here with Q File? is it gives you loads and loads of options for this file manager, just enough to border on enough information without being annoying, and at the same time, let you aggregate uh, different NASs and combine them together and search them on the network, something my drive doesn't do. So again, the remit for Synology Drive is keep it simple, and moreover, keep it easy, straightforward, and fast. On a number of applications and different file types that we opened within the Synology Drive application, we found that Photos opened up within the app, some videos, depending on the codec, opened up within the app, and music opened up within the app without a third-party application. Although when we tried to open documents and PDFs, we did encounter some difficulties, and we were told by some that there are some codecs that you can download on the App Store. So we probably will revisit Synology Drive in a month or so when we go for the overview of desktop versus mobile application. But nevertheless, Synology Drive is definitely better than their file management tool, DS Photo. DS Photo feels a little bit basic compared to this. And um, the ability to uh, send, uh, move, upload and download uh, photo and video files, while at the same time being to casually edit them to some degree and move them, move between them, apply effects, all within one app, is very, very appealing indeed. I just wish they extend that logic towards music and video playing as well, but who knows, maybe they'll do that in the future. Now, if you look at the QNAP screen here, again, it's what we're already used to with QNAP. They've used the same framework for the majority of their mobile apps, but then tweaked and tinkled with parts that refer to its general use. So the photo application has lots of stuff for dealing with photos, you know, the sort of things you would expect, 360 degree mode, panoramic, that sort of thing. The music one had different codecs and playback and random playlists and stuff. And the video one obviously did stuff respective to video. But... In the form of QFile, because it's obviously such a broad remit with handling files, it doesn't have any of that specialization, and it is just a file management tool. That said, it's still one of the best that I use. I still use QFile on a very regular basis. I use both DS File, which I'll probably drop now in favor of Synology Drive, if I'm honest. But with my QNAP, I use QFile at least once every couple of days. And the fact that it includes options like transcoding, it includes options like selecting media, file, uh, media playback on different first-party and third-party applications on my phone, and includes features and functionality such as 360-degree view, Google Cardboard, and casting to local devices based on the file. So if I want to cast a video file 
it will send it to a DLNA supported video devices that are smart. If it's a music file, it will only send it to music devices. And if it's a photo, it won't send it to music devices. It's smart enough to do that. So even with QFile, there is a certain degree of intelligence behind it. And definitely, it is a great management tool. Now, Sonology you drive, much more modern, showy, flashy, and it opens a lot of those apps in the first party a great deal more. But it's still not an enormous leap from QFile. The thing that Synology Drive gives you is letting you use those Synology first party apps. And if that's what you want to use, that's great. But QFile lets you open files on your QNAP and lets you use third party apps on your phone, which I know doesn't sound, you know, too great using a third party app. But at the same time, I've never had difficulty opening a CSV or any sort of uh, Microsoft Word type doc on my NAS and opening up on Google Sheets or Google Docs or any of the Google applications. I've not had a problem with it. Now, if you feel like you don't want to use those third party apps, then fine. The Synology um, Drive mobile app is fantastic. It's a, it's a bit quicker and snazzier than that of the QNAP, but still, nevertheless, I still recommend between the two of them, for long standing ability, QFile. I just find it a better application to use overall. But nevertheless, this has been Synology Drive versus QNAP QFile. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. But do stay tuned for my videos on surveillance on your NAS. See you next time.